Hello, my beautiful YouTube herd. Welcome or welcome back to the 10th episode in my series, Coaching Your Writing Clips. Featured in today's episode will be Busy Bee Equestrian, Ruru Equestrian, and Stella Bobella. If you'd like to submit clips to be in a future video, please follow the directions here. Go to my channel and click on the community tab. Then scroll down until you find the post called how to submit for coaching your writing clips. Make sure to read the entire description and then go ahead and leave me the link to your video and the answer to your questions right here in the comments thread. With all that being said, you are now being judged. Our first student in the ring is Busy Bee Equestrian who does hunters, has been riding for five years and practice rides three times a week. Welcome to the ring, Busy Bee. Glad to have you here. Starting out, I can see that you are on the correct diagonal, which I can definitely appreciate, and I'm loving your approach to this cross rail. It's very dead center. Great job. Over the cross rail, I actually didn't see any release at all from your hands. However, that's perfectly acceptable since this height of fence doesn't really require that big of a release, so that is great too. Your release was good, but something I am seeing that might need to be improved upon is your upper body and especially your head position over the fence. It looks like you are looking up towards the ceiling and it looks like you're really trying to lead this pony with your head by sticking your neck out far like a turtle. Your upper body seems to be following suit with your head. It looks like both your chest and your head are really trying to lead and instead in order to to improve you could roll your hips under make your shoulders come a little bit more back and definitely make sure to put your head in a position that is in line with your shoulder hip and heel getting a better hang of balancing over fences will also help you to get the correct lead more often you put in some really great rides today B. just keep working on that body position over fences and on the flat and you will be golden Good job. Now entering the ring is Ruru Equestrian who rides English, has been riding for four years and lessons once a week. Starting out, I love this pony's forward impulsion. That might be just because of the breed, but I love how far that they pick up their leading leg when they canter. Very cute and correct lead. Nice job. A different pony now, a uh, Harry I'm assuming. First ride in a while, yes I can see that he is very counter bent, it looks like he's quite off balance. If I were you here, I would be using inside leg, inside leg, inside leg, and inside rein, steadying him around the corners with that outside leg and rein, pushing him forward, pushing him forward. He does not need to be going this slow, he's rooting down with his head a little bit, more impulsion would definitely solve this problem. But otherwise, it looks like you're doing good. You did recognize that you were on the incorrect diagonal, so I see that you know that. But nice downward transition, and pats for the good boy. With this transition here, it seemed a bit rushed, and I think that might be because the corner was cut so tight, it didn't seem like your horse really got into his stride until about here. And as well as that, it does appear that on this horse, you might be a little bit chair seated. I'd say in order to fix this minor issue, you need to scoot up a little bit more towards the cantle of your saddle, bring your leg under you, and make sure that your ear is in line with your shoulder, which is in line with your hip, which shall be in line with your heel. Different pony and same corner cutting issue. Although I like the forward impulsion, y'all definitely need to work on straightness. Not sure if that was a spook or just trying to get the lead change right there. Make sure you're looking up and keeping that straight line from elbow to bit and bringing those legs underneath you. 
nice sitting trot here. I like the fact that they are not crawling along at the slowest pace possible. One thing I am seeing though is a bit of stiffness in your body and not allowing the horse to move underneath you. So in order to fix that, I would suggest just allowing a little bit more. Again, rolling those hips under and bringing your leg up underneath you. Again, with the straight line from elbow to bit, remember not to lock your elbows, keep everything supple, and engage those core muscles to be able to move with the horse. Seems like you have quite the solid foundation and that you're very confident, Ruru, so great rides today, just some minor tweaks. Keep doing awesome. Our final rider entering the ring today is Stella Bobella, who does hunter jumpers, has been riding for two years, and lessons once a week. Great impulsion, correct lead, very straight coming to this fence. Nice one right there, loved that release, very good. Coming around the corner, I can see you're keeping up the pace good distance there. I honestly don't know what happened. It's a bit hard to see. Keeping that horse going, going, going. You do look like you were on the wrong lead and then changed it. This two stride was beautifully written. I love that you sat up and waited for that second fence and got the perfect distance and lead. Amazing job with that. Keeping her going, keeping her going. I love that you are continuing with that pace even though it looks like you are tired. Looks like you lost just a bit of impulsion around the corner, but seeing as these are the last two fences, that was totally understandable. Way to finish out this course, very strong. Excellent riding today, Stella Bobella. I really have no further tips for you. It looks like you know what you're doing and have a great coach. Thanks so much for watching. That's all for this week's video. Keep in mind, this is just for fun and everything I say should be taken with a grain of salt. Remember that it helps our horses to work off of pressure and release, and it would help this channel if you pressed and released that like, comment, and subscribe button. Don't forget to press that bell button and turn on notifications so you get notified every time I make a video. Until next time, bye. Bye.